Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are setting up our custom domain. I am on my Tabex dashboard. Here on the top right, we can view our web store. This will open up our web store and we can look at the address bar. We can see this is tbxacademy.tabex.io. This is the Tabex subdomain that I got assigned when creating this web store. On our dashboard on the web store and then going to domain, you can see we can find that subdomain over here. If you would just like to change the subdomain, you can change that here. It has to be something unique and then click save. But in this tutorial, we are setting up our own custom domain. I own tabexacademy.com. When going to Tabex Academy, you can see there's already some stuff on the screen. Ignore what is there. I just want to point out in the top left, it says the connection is not secure, meaning that any information sent over the internet is sent unencrypted. This is probably not what you want in general, but definitely not when dealing with customers and stuff like payments. You want everything to be secure. Going back to Tabex, under custom domain, let's click on setup. It asks us to enter our domain that we would like to use. So in my case, I'm going to say store.tabexacademy.com. It has to be a subdomain of whatever domain name you have. But you can decide what you use as the subdomain. Something like store or shop or VIP, whatever suits your needs. And then it tells us to configure our DNS and it gives us our CNAME record. Let's copy this CNAME for now and then let's switch over to Cloudflare. So we are going to be using Cloudflare as our DNS manager. If you use something else, the steps will be the same, but things might be in slightly different locations. I just created a account on Cloudflare and signed in. On the left, we are on websites. Let's click on get started. We need to enter our domain. So in my case, I'm going to say tabexacademy.com. Let's click on continue. I'm then going to select the free option and click on continue. Of course, you can look at what they offer and see if it's something that you actually need. So then let's click on add record. The type, as you saw on Tabex, we need to use CNAME. Then the name needs to be our subdomain. So in our case, this was store. Make sure that this is exactly the same as what you put here in front of the dot. And then the target is going to be our CNAME. So I just paste that in here. And then for the proxy, I'm going to turn this off. So we're going to set it to DNS only. Make sure it's set to DNS only, otherwise it will not work. Then TTL, we're just going to leave on auto. So after double checking everything, let's then click on save. Going to our overview, you can see here the instructions to change our name server. So let's log in to the dashboard from our domain. In our case, this is Namecheap. Here I can see my name, so let's click on manage. Then under name servers, I'm going to say custom DNS. Then back on Cloudflare, we're going to say copy for the first one, paste it in here, and copy for the second one, and then paste that in here. So let's click on OK. And as you can see, now we didn't get an error and everything is set up correctly. It might still take a little bit for the domain to actually work. I would recommend to wait at least 24 hours and if it's still not working after 24 hours, then I would start double checking your steps and seeing where it might have gone wrong with the configuration. I hope this video was helpful, but if anything is still unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.